Hi there, my name is Brooks from Character Design Forge. A lot of people use the term world building as something interchangeable with designing backgrounds, props, wardrobe, and vehicles. But really the intent of world building is to craft an environment for your stories to take place in. Ideally, it will be believable and immersive for your audience. Of course, designing characters is not mutually exclusive from world building. And today I wanted to talk about designing tertiary characters, those found in the background, in order to flesh out a world. The art on screen is of the shopkeeper from chapter one of my comic Denizen. He's a member of the first village that the main character comes across, where the people are all living in constant fear of a beast in the forest. When it comes to designing secondary or ornamental characters, one of the biggest things to remember is contrast. For example, if your main character is vibrantly colored, making the background characters a darker or grayer color makes your main character stand out. A really great example of this principle is a technique used in the show Batman Beyond. Pausing the time lapse here for a moment. The creators of that show decided that they would make all of the background characters primarily blue and purple. Either their clothing or sometimes their skin would be completely blue or purple. This immediately causes your eye to be directed away or past those characters to the focus of the action, which was usually a main character, who was multicolored and contrasting from the background. Yet we register that the character in focus is in a crowd without them getting in the way or being distracting. This doesn't mean that tertiary characters need to be boring at all. I was thinking about the cantina scene in Star Wars. Now up until that point in the film you've seen droids, you've seen humans on either side, and you've seen Jawas and Tusken Raiders. But once you arrive at the cantina, the wide array of alien species is telling you that this world is full of variety of life and peoples and cultures. And perhaps more importantly, that in the entirety of this film, we're only going to see a fraction of a much larger galaxy. That's something that contributed very well to the Wild West feel of Star Wars, not just that Tatooine was a desert, but that we were far from safe, in a place we knew very little about out on the frontier. That mystery really added to the adventure, and those background characters really reinforced that. You can use characters in the backgrounds of your story that convey a culture, a mood, a mindset, or something about the environment that you're in. Remember that the most important thing is your main characters, or central cast, and that the story is your focus, so use contrast to keep those characters in the background. That's it for me today. I'm making new videos every week at characterdesignforge.com. Subscribing on YouTube lets you know when new videos are made available. As always, I'd love to hear your questions and struggles when it comes to character design and art, so send me a message or leave a comment. Thank you for watching, and have fun creating.